Hello. Welcome, everyone. Yes, it is Monday, the 13th, the day we've all been waiting for. I'm Maura, Maura Hoskins, VP Operations with here at Geo Energy. And I have the great honor to introduce our chairman, our founder, Mr. John Rustin. Maura, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, everybody, thank you so much. I know we still have people texting people and people coming in. And, you know, it's, it's March the 13th, and you all have done such a phenomenal job that, you know, I just want to thank everybody for being here. And it's a special occasion because, again, you know, we waited for this day because we've got partners in our other company that are going to be talking to us about the future of big data. Also, we're going to have one of our chairmen speak and talk to us a little bit about magnitude of the uh, internet history of what's going on in data. So, one of the things I want to make sure that everybody, if you don't see people that are part of your team here, uh, just make sure and give them a shout out, a heads up, whatever you got to do. But again, we want to thank everybody for being here. We've been waiting for a while. Um, it's my pleasure because, again, our job is to serve all the owners in the company. Our job is to make sure that we supply you with the opportunity that not just changes your life, but can change the world. And that's what this call is about tonight. How do we bring people of substance who have changed the world into our ecosystem? These are partners we've been with for uh, since 2021. So we've been developing, we've been behind the scenes. The vision started in 2018, and again, we can't thank the Yurik Yir family enough, because Yurik, even though it means green in Hebrew, the whole focus of the company is to make an impact on all society on a global scale. How do we do our part to contribute back to society? And that's what we're going to learn about tonight. You know, 2021, two years ago, I met a man on a, a conference call that um, another gentleman, a friend up in uh, Canada, said you got to talk to these guys. And, you know, I didn't realize what a blessing uh, the Cabrera team would be to my family. And because we've stayed true to what we've been visually trying to help with the vision that started in 2018, now it's time to talk about that vision coming through Europe. And not only coming through here, but coming true. It takes time to do things on a massive scale. And this call is a call to action to learn from not just legends from Silicon Valley, but men of integrity and men who stayed true to that vision since 2018. You know, it's been a pleasure meeting Daniel Blaine for the last two years. I have him come back and forth to the house. We've met in uh, San Diego, even Samarca, come down to San Diego. So, when I say they're my partners, this isn't my partner, this is a brotherhood. And I know that I'm more proud of the fact that Daniel and Samartha and uh, Dr. Gilman are going to bless my family. But now it's turn to extend that blessing to all the Europe owners. Everybody in all the planet Earth can be affected by the Zoom call tonight. And I'm going to tell you, there's nobody more loyal and more focused on fixing big data than Daniel Bland. With that being said, Daniel Bland's history is incredible. He was one of the people who helped with HIV fast tests around the world. I mean, this is another person who changed the world. I, I sometimes can't keep up with Daniel. I don't know what state, what city, what country. And again, we as a team are blessed to have this partnership. And I'm going to get out of the way of greatness. So my job tonight is to introduce Daniel Bland, not only my friend, but my partner, A. Cabrera. Daniel, can you take over, please? John, thank you so much. Uh, what a great introduction, and uh, very, very happy and honored to be here tonight uh, talking to the Yurik family uh, and, and just watching what you've done, John, and Cynthia and, and Maura, and the team at Yurik has, has really been really inspirational. And, uh, you know, when I met John and Cynthia back in 2021, uh, I shared with them uh, sort of our vision at Kubera and, and what we believe in, we, what we passionately believe in. And 
Uh, it's taken a, a long time to get to this inflection point, and we're at this point now where we're ready to bring this to the world. And um, and it's really through um, John and Cynthia and the relationships that we built with them that Yurik is the first um, in the world to bring this to uh, to the masses, and, and this is going to revolutionize the world. This is going to change everything, and I can't wait to, to get into the details and talk a lot about it. But, you know, part of the process, I want you to really uh, meet and, and hear from uh, the, the, the team that has put this together. And myself, um, with my co-founder, uh, with Samartha, and, of course, uh, Gil, uh, a dear friend who I've uh, come to know now for uh, over a decade. Uh, <laughs> uh, my hair was a lot uh, less gray <laughs> uh, when I met Gil. Uh, and, and Gil um, is, is – we don't put enough emphasis on what Gil has done and achieved. Uh, Gil is one of the 50 uh, of Hall of Famers in Silicon Valley. Uh, basically was the uh, linchpin for uh, a lot of major corporations in Silicon Valley and, and helped really build uh, the technology that we see today. And um, it, it's just an honor uh, to have known uh, Gil for this many years and to work with him. And uh, it, the inspiration that he uh, gives me every day is, is very powerful. So, uh, Gil, uh, if you would, sir, uh, talk a little bit about uh, your, bat, your background and, and what you see for uh, our, our uh, strategy here with uh, Kubera. Okay, thank you, Danny. <clears throat> I think you give me too much credit. Uh, <clears throat> but but uh, we're a team, and, and we've been a team for the, – the year we met was 2009. So it's uh, it's uh, very, yeah. the rules are starting to pile up on us, Danny. But you got to watch out. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> I, I, I'll try to keep. I've done a lot of things in my life, but I'll try to keep it keep it relatively simple and hit hit uh, what I call the high high points. Uh, I started out as a as a, a nerd. Uh, that is, I have a PhD in physics from Georgia Tech, and uh, I, I thought I would become. Uh, researcher or maybe a college professor or something like that and um, but uh, but when I graduated uh, Bell Laboratories hired me to come to New Jersey and work at at, at the famous Murray Hill Laboratories there and uh, and while I was there a, a, a couple of three two or three important things happened uh, one of them was I got to know Bill Shockley now you, you may not know that name but Bill Shockley was the inventor of the transistor in 1947, for which he won a Nobel Prize. And in, uh, in a, a report that was done in the early part of this century, looking back at the last century, uh, the people who did this study determined that the invention of the transistor was the most significant event, invention of the entire century, because it changed everything. And that's how Silicon Valley came to be and all of that. So when Bill Shockley was my mentor, he also was a professor at Stanford. And he split his time between Bell Labs and Stanford. And uh, after he got to know me a while and realized I was a pretty bright, bright young man, he said, Gil, don't tell anyone at Bell Labs I said this to you, but he said, you ought to go to Silicon Valley. <laughs> and so I got there pretty early. And I was part of the team that uh, that he basically handpicked to to help start building uh, Silicon Valley, and of course a lot of other people came in and did amazing work as well. Um, and uh, but I was still focused on technology in the beginning. But when one day I got asked if I would be willing to uh, help turn around a company, and uh, and I said, well, I'm not a businessman, and uh, I said, well, you're a smart guy. You'll figure it out. So I went to Stanford and asked the dean of the business school, you know, for advice. And his advice was easy. He said, read everything Peter Drucker ever wrote. So I became a disciple of Peter Drucker. And uh, what, uh, what I did is I used those methods. And I ultimately turned around uh, five businesses that were on either in or on the brink of bankruptcy uh, and I did those successfully on an average of about three and a half years each to, to, to make that turnaround happen. And of course, the most famous one of which is Apple Computer. 
which uh, was my last one and which was literally on the brink of bankruptcy when I took it over. Uh, it had exactly 75 days of money in the bank and that way, and, and it was going to be history. I had, so I had 75 days to raise money. I raised a billion dollars and uh, based on my reputation and, uh, and the rest, as they say, is history. So when I, when I left that, left Apple, I said, what do, what do I want to do? And I said, you know, I, I love technology and I love business. So why don't I put those two things together and try to help launch new businesses that are at the cutting edge of technology. But a lot of times the people who invent new technologies are not very good businessmen. They're great techies, but they're not businessmen. But I, I felt I could, I could make a real contribution helping them. Now, Danny hasn't needed much of my help in that category, but I can assure you some of my other companies really did. And, uh, and, and that's, that's sort of what I'm doing today. I'm mentoring companies, helping them. Um, and uh, during all of these years, I got sort of a global reputation. So uh, if, if, uh, if I may, I would just mention I, I was in uh, Dubai uh, a few weeks ago and uh, where the uh, World Government Summit was held, where all the nations of the world gathered to listen to speakers. I was one of the four keynote speakers that was invited to be there. Uh, la one of last year's speakers was Elon Musk, and I basically replaced him for this, uh, for this, for this event. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, and so I, 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 I've just lived this blessed life, and, uh, and I'm, it's not over yet. So I'm still want to stay involved. I'm still eager to work with Danny and Samartha, two amazing guys, uh, not, not only just business associates, but have become dear friends. I've gotten to know their families and, and, uh, and, and it's, it's more than, it's more than just work. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a mission that we share. And uh, so that's a little bit about me. I'd like to hear a little bit more about, about you folks too. Well, thank you, Gil. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for uh, taking the time. And, and um, you know, John, maybe uh, what we can do here is um, I'd like to now bring Samartha uh, onto the, the stage, if you will, and uh, have Samartha talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing and, and give a little more context to, to what we're doing. And, and I know that, uh, John, you've talked with uh, the people here with uh, Yurik and, and really what we're trying to launch, but bringing it a little bit closer to to discussion is we believe that the internet and the way that uh, the internet operates is broken. Uh, it's broken uh, from the standpoint that uh, people that use the internet are not being paid for their data. And some people don't even understand that uh, that is a, a major part of how uh, the, uh, as I've called them, the oligarchies uh, make their money. The oligarchies, uh, the big corporations, uh, Google and, and the like, they make their money by taking your data and selling it and putting it in their pocket. And uh, they're a trillion-dollar company uh, as a result of that. It's a trillion-dollar industry. We believe at Cabrera, our, our mission statement is very simple. We believe that the owners of the data should be paid for their data. And we have dedicated our lives to this uh, cause. We've spent uh, tremendous amounts of money, uh, human capital and, and capital capital, uh, to do this. And now we're at this point of inflection where we can now bring this to the, to the market. And it starts uh, with our uh, revolutionary Wi-Fi router. And if you know hardware, anything about hardware, and one of the things that's very important is to be able to uh, manufacture those uh, devices and get them out in, in, a, in a high quality level. Uh, Samartha, uh, our co-founder, uh, has uh, spent his entire career uh, in the field of hardware uh, and telecommunications, uh, working with uh, Kyocera, with Qualcomm, some of the bigger corporations in the world, uh, and building uh, successfully mobile devices uh, for years uh, out of India that uh, were marketed around the world. So, uh, so we bring uh, that talent to this cause. And uh, Samartha, maybe if you could uh, talk a little bit about uh, our forever router and the, the technical specs and what we've done to design uh, the best performing router in the marketplace. 
Thanks, Danny. Hello, Air Group. Uh, <clears throat> primarily, uh, Danny was talking about the internet is broken. And how does the internet reach the home? The internet is who many internet service providers. Uh, you might have your internet service provider. It could be AT&T, it could be Verizon, it could be Cox, Xfinity, many, 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 uh, uh, many internet service providers. And all these internet service providers, whether it is cable modem or whether it is fiber or whether it is satellite, okay, they are all reaching your home. And once they reach the home, they give the internet through Wi-Fi routers, right? So, and we have built a, a very smart Wi-Fi router. Uh, this is the best-in-class Wi-Fi router. Uh, it competes with any of the best-in-class Wi-Fi routers, uh, be it Netgear, be it Linksys, be it Cisco, be it Juniper, be it any kind of, a, even Google, okay, take any of the top class Wi-Fi routers. Our router is much superior, okay, in multiple aspects. One is you can place one single router and the entire house gets connected. Uh, it doesn't require too many mesh, okay, because many routers can't cover the entire house. And since it can't cover the entire house, there is a mesh network and you'll be investing in three or four routers. But with our router, it is one single router. It's a tower model, sits there and covers the entire house. And how does it do this kind of uh, entire home coverage is primarily because it does a lot of beam forming. That is the smartness which comes in. It does a lot of very, very high tech kind of a thing in terms of beam, beam forming, in terms of channel selection and all those kind of stuff. And then it gives the internet and it just doesn't give the internet, but it increases, I mean, it gives the same data rate wherever you are. You might be far away from the router, you might be near from the router, wherever you are, you get a fantastic data rate. So that is what we have done in terms of building a router. And in terms of router specifications, uh, we are always going to be in the best in the class kind of a router. For example, uh, today, if you take any router, uh, whether you have any kind of ISP connection in your home, satellite or cable or uh, fiber or even uh, uh, DSL kind of a, uh, 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 links to your home, the kind of router that we put is the one which gives the best bandwidth kind of a stuff. So, and uh, currently there are okay many routers uh, out there in the market, Netgear, Google, uh, and Linksys, and TP-Link, and uh, largely those are the kind of uh, routers that's out there. And uh, we perform, and all these routers are performing at a certain level. We benchmark with each of the router and provide the better performance than any of the current routers that's out there. Okay, so that is what we have done. We have done, we have done probably about a year plus two years uh, almost uh, research work on how to build this kind of routers and we have brought that particular router. And one important thing about what our forever router concept is that once you get this router and this router is not just a single piece that you get, Whenever the technology changes, three years, four years down the line, when the technology changes, whichever at that point in time is the best in class kind of a router, we again benchmark with those kind of routers and we again give you that best router to you. That is the kind of router, forever router concept. Every three, four years, whatever is the latest technology that's out there, we give and we work on those technologies. We better that performance, we better the performance inside the house, inside every nook and corner of the house, you should get a fantastic data rate. That's what we are uh, promising in this particular router. And when you get the router, you will feel the performance inside your house. So apart from getting the router, the most important other thing that you will get is an app. Okay, It's a mobile application. And the application you, the configuration of the router is very simple. You might be wondering, I already have a router. I already have some connection. How will I uh, replace that particular thing? So we will help you uh, very easily uh, with our, uh, uh, our uh, uh, technical guidelines and all that kind of stuff, but more importantly, with our app. With our app, you can easily configure the router 
and the router in few minutes you can replace your existing router with our router and say suppose in case that you have a bundled connection in the sense that your modem and router is together uh, we will help you to separate that out and have a separate cable modem and separate Wi-Fi router that also we will help you and with that help all those things we will do it uh, through our mobile application and application is not only configuring the router but it has a much more important function that is looking at how much of data that is happening in terms of browsing <coughs> insights in terms of every aspect of data that is coming inside and looking at that particular thing and paying for the data kind of a stuff so I think it's better uh, Danny you if you can explain what our application does and uh, uh, and these applications are available on Android and iOS but the main functionality is what uh, I think Danny you should uh, probably take on Danny you are muted um, okay there we go yeah <laughs> great thanks Martha thank you for that I uh, appreciate that very much and uh, and that's right uh, so so let's now talk a little bit about exactly what the opportunity is. Uh, we talk about a forever router. So as Martha says, uh, every three to four years, we'll provide a new uh, latest and greatest Wi-Fi router uh, for your home. So the forever router is you buy it one time, and you will have the new, uh, newest and latest router for the next uh, uh, 15, 20 years, or however long you stay in your home. Uh, so if we just focused on that, if that was all that we did, is provide a router, a one-time cost, it would save you uh, two to three hundred dollars a year in not having to rent the router from your ISP. Uh, there are 90 million homes in America that rent their router from their respective ISP. This eliminates that. So uh, that's a savings unto itself that is significant and is something that everyone should do. But Frankly, anybody else could do the same thing. Uh, you could get a good router from any, any source. Uh, uh, we believe we have the best performing router, but other routers are available. Where we are different, how we are going to change the world is that by using the Forever Router and our mobile app, you will be paid for your data while you surf the Internet. And, and this is going to change how the Internet is perceived. This is going to change the way that money is generated in this trillion dollar uh, industry. Uh, the money now is going to go to you, the owner of the data, uh, and through the years uh, you're talking about substantial uh, revenue being generated. Uh, you're talking about uh, ultimately $10 per user per month, uh, which could even grow beyond that. Uh, so if you have a family of three or four in the home, uh, you can uh, begin to see the impact that that's going to have uh, in your uh, in your household, so um, this is um, very straightforward. It's not complicated. Uh, you uh, buy the router at one time. Uh, it's easily installed through the mobile app, and the rest is uh, is very simple. And, and John, maybe uh, you can come in and and uh, ask any questions or or any uh, anything that the the team would like to hear about. So Daniel, Daniel, thank you for that, because one of the things I want everybody to understand is that because we're talking about the household, the actual router, in our opinion, is more of an IoT device, because if you think about it, you know, every router is a router, but this is a tri-band router, it's got a lot more features than a regular router, but here's the most important thing, and I, and I appreciate Dr. Emilio with what he's done to change the world. And that's why we have to have people like him because he understands megatrend. And this is uh, a megatrend. This is beyond Web3 and all the stuff these people are talking about. Because here's the thing. When you buy this router, you're going to be given the mobile app. When the mobile app is downloaded to your phone, even before your router is delivered, you start earning data on your mobile phone. I want to stress that like, you know, it's the gospel. Think about what Samarka said. We have the, the first in class, best technology. We've got leadership from Dr. Emilia. We've got Dr. Bland, and Mr. Bland. I'll make you Dr. Bland today. But <laughs> the bottom line is this is a world-class team that run companies from Karen C. to Samuel to Apple, who are now our partners and your partners. And the bottom line is, imagine you buy a router, 
you download a mobile app, you open your phone up, and you're surfing and earning money. And here's the secret to the router, too. I love this part. When you buy your router, you get the mobile app, you get a private code, download it to your phone, you'll start earning money. Here's the great thing. The router, because you purchased it, gives you the ability to share that link from you as a router owner. You cannot get that link anywhere else. It won't work. So imagine I buy a router. The next day, within 24 to 48 hours, we'll give you a download to your phone. Now you've got the Pegasus app on your phone. You're earning money that day. Say you have 10 people in your family. You can take your contacts, send them the link from your phone, and here's the cool part. When you do our KYC, which takes about a minute, you get a MasterCard. And that's going to be the next thing people ask. Well, if I'm earning, how do I spend? Imagine you buy a router, step one. Download the app, step two. We send you a private code. You activate on your phone, after KYC, and you start earning instantly. Daily cash flow. Let's say you have a family. Everybody on your contact list, you send that same link to your family. They download the app, they do KYC, and they start earning money instantly. I want you to think about this. Plus, every four years, we're replacing the router, upgrading it, no cost to you. Think about having, and Daniel taught me this, so i got to give credit for credit too. Imagine if you're paying your electric bill. Many of you know we're in the electric industry. Could you imagine surfing the web? You just earn money for surfing the web, and let's say your family gets together and they all put the money together of all the income you've earned for surfing the web on your mobile phone. What if you use that money with a MasterCard to pay your electric bill? Now, in Texas, we even call that free. And as Daniel said, you know, we have built companies by giving our data up for free. We built Amazon. We built Google. We built Facebook. All that is your data you gave up for free. So now when you buy the Forever Router, you receive the mobile app on your phone. We'll real quick set up for your router. But even before your router is delivered to your front door, you do the KYC and set up on your phone. You start earning money instantly. And if you like your family, then you invite them in the same way. Well, let's take it a step further. Say Daniel buys a router. He's a big pastor of a church. He puts his router on order. It's coming to him. When he downloads the app, he immediately can invite all of the members of that church. Because, see, by buying the router, it gives him the ability to build his own mm. private network that he's given money back to for all the surfing they're doing. Even before the product is delivered. Now, here's what you got to understand. When you activate, because Daniel invited because he bought the router, you can't share it because you didn't buy a router. So if you want to do the same thing, you got to buy a router and get your private link that only works with people you share it with. I want to make sure, Daniel, can you explain to them how big this yeah. industry is? And you also, Dr. Gill, if you can, how big is the big data industry we're looking at taking on as yeah. a team? Yeah, big data is uh, well uh, well named. Uh, it's big. Uh, it's it's uh, really if you look at all the the big um, um, tech companies that are in big data, Google is probably the biggest. Uh, they're a trillion dollar company. Um, uh, Amazon, uh, Facebook, all of these guys, they generate the vast majority of their revenue by selling your data. And it, you know, it's interesting as an entrepreneur. Um, it, it's really important to understand how the mind works and the opportunity and, 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 and sort of the, the, the progression of technology and industry. The oligarchies did a great thing. They spent hundreds of billions of dollars building the Internet. And without them being able to profit massively, uh, it would have taken longer to build the Internet. So in a lot of ways, uh, they needed to do what they've done. Uh, and they did it very well. And so now that the infrastructure has been built, 
that's where the opportunity lies. The opportunity, our barrier to entry is really just figuring out how to get this in people's hands. Uh, where before, if you wanted to build the internet, you had to spend hundreds of billions of dollars and all sorts of back-end infrastructure. So we're taking advantage of what they've done. They've been paid handsomely for it, and now it's time to turn the tables. So the next you know, 10 years, you're going to see when they talk about Web3, the Web3 concept is really controlling your data. If you, if you do any sort of uh, Googling uh, Web3, it's all about how you control your data. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to allow the user of the Internet through our mobile app, and through the router uh, to, to start to monetize and to uh, profit from their uh, Internet insights. And so that's really, it's not complicated. Uh, the cool part that you mentioned, John, the mobile app, uh, think about you have a, a router in the home and you have college students at, at home. They could download uh, the mobile app in their universities and they can make money uh, by surfing the Internet but just using the mobile phone, not even connected to the router. So this is... This is really a game changer, uh, and it, as you say, John, uh, as soon as you uh, purchase the router, even before it's delivered, you can start earning money uh, by using the mobile app. So it's really designed uh, for mass adoption. Uh, we believe that, uh, you know, whether it's five years from now, ten years from now, uh, the, the, the future is clear. Uh, data is going to be uh, managed and owned by those <laughs> and profited by those that own it. And see, Daniel, that's one of the reasons I wanted to make sure that having Dr. Melio and Samarth and yourself on this call, because, I mean, even though um, Dr. Melio may not understand how great he is, we appreciate everything he's done, but the key is he's been that anchor in Silicon Valley with other partners that have set the, set the standards. So if he hadn't gone there back in the days where he's being a student with a, you know, another legend, you know, Silicon Valley would not exist without the people that we call our cornerstones. So now I feel, this is my opinion, that what Dr. Melio has rewarded us with his experience and your leadership, Daniel Samartha, with your technical brain and how, you know, you can create anything in your head. Uh, we want his head like the metaverse. There's nothing he can't create if we can just give him a picture. <laughs> but, but think about how many people have mobile phones on the planet Earth. And what if someone bought a router and could turn every mobile phone in their immediate network into a daily cash flow? How many people could use this product and then turn around and share with a nonprofit, a church, a synagogue? Look at what, not being political, but President Carter with the whole Habitat for Humanity. I mean, I believe the forever router can change humanity because we need the internet. We, I don't know anybody on the earth that's normal, I have to use that right word, that doesn't need the internet. And again, with the economic times we're going through right now, with certain situations, with certain, certain situations, I don't want to get into that. But I want you to think about it. If your mobile phone could get a daily income from surfing the internet, What's wrong with sharing that? And how many people do you know with a mobile phone? So if you think about it, what Daniel said is true. There's a last since 2021, they don't have 22. There's 142 million homes in America. And from what we've learned, 90 million homes went rent, rent routers every month. You're all about sharing. If 90 million homes rent routers every month, that's $2.25 billion a month. That's $27 billion a year. I don't want everybody to think about what I'm going to ask next. When was the last time you upgraded your router? Did you upgrade in the last year, last two years, last three years? When are you going to stop paying to lease an item that we need internet, but is it financially helping you with the game? See, this is a win-win situation because you're already spending the money. For the cost of this router right now, if you've not upgraded your router and bought one you own, you've already paid for the forever router six, seven, eight, nine times in the last six, seven years. And imagine 
they're going to keep building in the rest of your life. It's the difference between renting and ownership. Here's a good thing about it. Instead of waiting on the price of a home going up, when you download the app, you start earning income right then and there. And as Daniel said, if you have young people in college and you buy the router for your house, you can send the app throughout your college children. Yeah, how many haven't called? I don't know. But if they can earn money without having to go wait tables while they're in school, what's wrong with that? If you have an organization, you buy a router, and you go to church, you say, look, I need to talk to the pastor or the, the, whoever, the temple, whoever's in church. If you say, I'm a congregation member of the temple, whatever, I just want to share this with the organization at no cost. Would you do that for your own network and community? So, again, with all the weather issues, all the things we're dealing with as a society in, in, in the world, not just North America, the forever router is a solution that has global impact. This router is global. It's AC and it's DC. So in Europe, example, if you have family members in the EU, guess what? This router works perfect there. We have AC, DC. If you have family members in certain countries, because uh, you have to remember, too, in some countries, they only use mobile phones to get on the Internet in most states. But here's what's really cool. What if one house had the router in that country, and what if you could share the app? <laughs> Think about that. In certain countries, most of the people use mobile phones to access the Internet. Could you imagine being the first household in Manila or Cebu or, or maybe in, you know, Munich or, or maybe in Madrid, wherever it is that the buyer of this router is, it's a global product. What if he or she shared the mobile app and everybody around them now, that full Ahana, that village, everybody is earning from surfing the web on a mobile phone until they buy their own router. And think about it, in our industry, direct sales, as Daniel said, I give credit where credit to do. This is the first product in direct sales that is irrefutable. Now, what does that mean? That means that if you're in any other company selling anything online, dropship, network marketing, direct sales, insurance, it doesn't matter. If you need access to the Internet, you might as well get paid for it. And that's what this is all about. Web3, you and me, and big data is now to pay you. Pay yourself. Last time I checked, that $27 million wedding that the founder of Facebook had, I didn't get an invite. You know, when you look at lifestyle of the people who are <laughs> in those trillion-dollar companies, not that we're jealous, envious, or we want their problem. The key is that you made every one of those companies. Here we are, 8,000 people in our business, and here is Dr. Miller. I mean, look, this thing, Doc, on the screen makes me feel good because I'm a nerd, too. I'll be honest. I, you know, I, I see plus, plus, data, and tell my dad was raised in that way, even though I look like I play football, but I like technology. But I also like seeing all people win. And that's why when Daniel brought this to me, I saw this as a humanitarian win. I saw this as the people who are suffering, who are watching themselves, watch their houses being washed away in California, and I see people out there looking for hope. Here's what this router represents. Connectivity to the Internet, we got to have it, okay? The highest technology on the planet when it comes to a tri-band router. But the third thing is freedom. Freedom to get paid on your own data and not keep building other trillion-dollar companies on your data. The fourth thing is ability to share. How many people could you touch once you buy your router and you just send your link out? And now everybody's getting paid. Even if they don't own a router. You have just gifted people the ability to get surf, the ability to surf the internet and get paid daily. And the Mastercard. We can shift that around the world. These are the things that Daniel Bland and Dr. Emilio and Samantha has brought to us as a company. And we're the first company to have them on the planet Earth 
on our calls to talk about not just us being in a position. I mean, think of it. We have 8,000 people, have 10,000 people out in a month. If 10,000 people share this router with just 10 people, that means we would sell 100,000 routers this month. If we do the same thing, because when June comes around, we have an event coming, what if we did that? 10,000, well, we have 8,000 a 10,000 in the month. If everybody sold 10 routers, that's 100,000 routers. And what if everybody with 100,000 router sales share with just 10 people the mobile app? That's 1 million people in less than 90 days benefiting from knowing you as an owner in Europe. You have the power that no other company's ever had. I don't care if you're selling skincare, weight loss, pot belly pig, pantyhose. It don't matter. You need the Internet. So when you think about the router today, look at your house as you're on the Zoom and ask yourself, have I ever looked at my bill? Am I one of the 90 million people spending two to $300 a year and my kids don't have what they want? And I've been on that router for five years? That's $1,500. What could you do with $1,500 a day? But forget that. You pay for this router one time, and it pays you every day. So your choices are real simple. With that being said, I'm going to pass it back to you, Dan. And, Doc, if you have anything else you want to close with on how big our opportunity is, you're welcome, Dr. Emilio, to talk about that. Well, I think it's phenomenal. Um, I, uh, this is uh, one of the coolest uh, almost obvious ideas I've, <laughs> we've seen in a long time, but yet uh, no, one, no one else has, uh, has, explored, has explored this, and I think it's, it's truly amazing. I, I, you know, a lot of times you t talked about this being simple, and it's, in many ways from the user, user interface point of view, it is simple. But there's a lot of high technology that goes in the, in the middle of this box that, that Samartha had to figure out and get right in order for this thing to work the way it does. And I don't want to Absolutely. underestimate the amount, the amount of hard work that Samartha put in to c come up with an incredibly efficient, effective solution. Um, I can appreciate that. Others perhaps can't. But, but I wanted to be sure that that got emphasized uh, during this conversation. Well, yeah, great you. point, Gil. Yeah, sorry, John, that uh, no, cut in there, but th yeah, that that's exactly right, and and uh, it really it's a testament to uh, to how you build companies, and you come up with a great idea. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell a little story. Uh, I like stories, uh, and uh, so Martha and I went out and uh, 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 toured Hoover Dam uh, yesterday, and. Uh, uh, he brought up how how the Hoover Dam is very analogous to the business we're in, and uh, what that really represents is the lake is all the data. The dam, the hydroelectric dam, you put that water through those turbines and you generate electricity to light up Southern hmm. California. Well, we're taking that lake, that, that data, we're running it through our router. Uh, and generating money to send out to the world. And, and so uh, what's interesting about when he mentioned that, I said, oh, my goodness, uh, this, this goes back to my roots. When I was growing up in a little small town of Tascadero, California, there was a um, sand and gravel company called Kaiser Sand and Gravel. And on the side of the truck of Kaiser Sand and Gravel was find a need and fill it. And so there's nothing more entrepreneurial than finding a need and filling that need. And of course, if you're a sand and gravel company uh, like Kaiser, uh, it makes sense. You find a hole, you fill it with sand and gravel. Uh, interestingly enough, Kaiser was one of the six companies that built the Hoover Dam. So <laughs> it all kind of comes together. Uh, uh, we, we have found a need uh, we're filling that need, and uh, John and, and Cynthia and uh, more and the entire Uric family is going to help us take the, uh, the, the fulfillment of that need to the world, and we couldn't be more, more proud and, and happy to be uh, working with you. 
Well, and you know, I appreciate your patience. Uh, I mean, he's got the patience of Methuselah. He puts up with me for almost two years. And but again, <laughs> and we no, no. really, we really love each other. And he's been so respectful to not just our team, the leadership. I mean, I know Gilly, you see. Daniel's on a plane. He's always working hard. He's texting me at 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning. Smart, he's on the phone with Smart. The smartest team sent me in WhatsApp. And, because, again, you got to think about it. You know, Daniel, like you, has been a visionary in my life. And Smart has been the guys that put the damn together. So if you think about this team with your leadership, Dr. Melio, this team with us being almost 10,000 people strong to sell this product, you know, our focus is to make sure that the time, the money, the, the brain power that you and Samarth and Daniel put together to make it happen all the way back in 2018 when this whole thing started, that we make sure that we're that generation of young people that come in and make sure they remember that, again, Dr. Melio is in this field, Daniel Bland was in this field, and Samarth. So our job is to go out and tell the world. And we believe this year as a company, we should hit about 50 to 100,000 registered uh, members. Uh, we have about 10,000 owners that are part of the, the actual ownership in the company. So just like a credit union, the owners run the uh, company, and we just basically as founders support them. But with leadership like you brought, Daniel, and you, Dr. Emilio, and Samark, and I love you to death because your brain is great. You know, we can't thank you enough for choosing us because, again, y'all have changed the world already. All we're saying is thank you for our turn. So, Daniel, if you have any closing words before we bring more back, it's on you. That's great, John. Thank you so much. And, and again, thank you for the patience. Uh, and you and Cynthia have uh, been uh, stalwarts and supporters, and we couldn't do this without, without your support. And it, it's just uh, very exciting. Uh, I know I speak for Samartha and Gil that uh, – we're very happy to be working with Yurik and uh, can't wait to uh, um, see this uh, uh, product be used uh, around the world and that you and your family bring it to the world and, and uh, uh, we change the world together. Daniel, thank you for that. Now, I'm going to throw it in before we bring our, our uh, BP of Operations, the big boss. We have one thing. What we've committed is that whoever is the top sales organization or person, uh, we want to invite you, based on the contest, they'll be starting on Wednesday. Whoever hits the specific amount of sales, you'll see that in the next 24 hours. We're going to invite you to have dinner with Dr. Gil Emilio in Reno, Nevada. So again, you'll get the details of the contest. We're going to also, because we've got our June event coming up, ask Dr. Emilio to be our keynote speaker, better than Elon Musk. And Daniel and Samantha, too, and the entire team. So the way we see it is we're giving it to you now to say, look, top producers, top salesperson, look for a contest in 24 hours, dinner with the ex-CEO of Apple and a man that's a cornerstone in Silicon Valley. Thank you, everybody, and back to you, Maura. Thank you for having us all. Thank you, John. This has just been amazing. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Dr. Emilio. So, Yurik, you heard it. Dinner in Reno, top seller. Who's it going to be? Who <laughs> is it going to be? All the details will be coming out on Wednesday. Thank you all for joining this. Again, it's just been amazing. And I look forward. I know my email is about to blow up. It's just going to just go wild. I'll try and answer everyone's question. However, have a great night. Keep the energy. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>